Hello and welcome to the Embroidered Elephant channel. My name is Kim and today we are going to be doing a studio vlog. So I have a small business and I make a lot of project bags. I do a lot of sewing. I occasionally do crochet but that is more so for, uh, <clears throat> for a hobby. And today I am trying to finish over 50 project bags that I started last year. So I make all of my project bags from scratch. I get all of the material, I sew them all together. I usually use scraps and I nearly always make limited edition bags. So the fabric that I get, I get it in small quantities I sew all of the bags or sew all of my projects with that and then they're gone. So all of the bags that I have made, there, I think for most of the designs there's three or less. So let me show you a couple of the ones that I'm working on now and walk you through my process. So let me show you a little bit of my process. So if you haven't made drawstring bags before, um, this may be a bit alien to you. Um, you may have made hundreds and this may be a different way of doing it. So I have the front and the back or the front, the outside and the inside of the bag. And in the middle, I sew the drawstring. So very simply, I sandwich them together. I sandwich the drawstring between the front and the back of the bag and then I overlock them together. So most of the bags I have already sewn together. I've done the drawstrings for all of them. The next step is to sew the fronts and the backs together. Very briefly, a bit like, a bit like this. So you've got the front and the back and vice versa. So you sew around the three sides, so at the top, this side, <laughs> the bottom side, and then on the inside you just leave a little hole. So you sew the top, leave a bit, sew the bottom. It means that when it comes to it you can turn it the right side out so that it looks pretty on the outside and you've got the drawstrings on the outside as well. So. Where am I at with all of these bags? There are a few bags that I have just sewn the top of, so I need to pin them together and so start sewing the outsides. So there are quite a few of those. I've got this pile here of bags that I need to pin together. And now my other massive pile, let me see if I can show you. I don't think I can emphasize how many bags are on here. There's over 50. So the other pile of um, bags, I have pinned them together, they're already sewn, and I have sewn the outside edge or the outside bottom of the bags. So my aim for today is to get all of these bags done. Um, so in brief, I have to sew down one side, sew down the other, and then sew the bottoms of each of the bag. Once I've done that, I turn them all out inside out, sew the bottom hole shut and sew around the casing, which is quite a lot for over 50 bags. But my plan is, and I have a habit of setting unrealistic goals, I'll say that, my plan for this morning is to sew the outsides of all of the bags, so sew the edges, so the, the top, both sides and the bottom of all of the bags this morning. It's around nine o'clock now, I think. And after I've done that, this afternoon I will spend um, turning the bags inside right side out. God, I'm getting so confused. So I'll send, spend this afternoon turning the bags right side out 
and um, then sewing the tops and sewing the holes closed at the bottom. Hopefully that makes some sense. I will check in with you throughout this morning and this afternoon just with progress. I won't necessarily film everything because as you can imagine it will probably take me a little while. Um, so my plan is just to put some music on and get to it. So let me get started. I just thought when I pause the video it might be quite interesting to pop a comment below whether you think that I will be able to finish them all today or not. Um, now this will be really easy to to see. I'm not going to be able to blag it because firstly look at what I'm wearing, um, my hair but also for the rest of the week I am very busy so I won't be able to do any sewing. Um, so yeah pop a comment below if you think that I'll be able to do it or if you're not so if you're not as optimistic as me that's fine as well cool see you in a bit This is the extent of how many bags I've got, so that's why I'm saying it's quite a big job. Um, yes, you can see here, 
there's quite a few. So all of the um, all of the tops of the bags are done. I am just going to quality check them now, and then I'm going to go down the sides. So doing okay so far. So I've just finished sewing the sides of all of the bags. Um, just one of the sides. I've got another side left, and I've got the bottom to do. But um, whilst I have a little break, I am just going to clean my machine because I don't know if you can appreciate how dirty that is. I don't know if you can see how absolutely dirty that is. And that's just after a few of the bags. So I'm gonna clean it out. Um, and that's a good way to not set myself or the machine alight, I think. much as good as new. Right, let's do the other side. Hello. It is now Friday, um, not Wednesday anymore. So anyone who put down in the comments below that I couldn't do it in one day, you are completely right. Um, I got through quite a lot of them. I did quite a lot, but I just didn't finish them quite. So I'm going to be working on them again today. Um, I'm not disappointed. I have very, sometimes I have very unrealistic ideas of what I can achieve in a day. Um, and this kind of goes to show that. So I will show you where I'm at. So I have a big pile of bags that I have um, sewn around both sides, both ends. The bottom end I have left a little hole so I can turn them inside out and I've cut a lot of the corners. So I've cut the corners on both. There is a pile of fabric just on top of my sewing machine. So this is the, f the these are the bags that I have marked the corners on but I haven't cut them yet, very roughly. So those are all the ones that I need to cut. This little pile down here is all the bags that I have cut the corners of. So I need to cut all the corners on these bags and then pin them all open like this and sew them and then I can turn them inside out, right side out. <laughs> Yeah, so happy with what I did. It was quite a long day. I will say that um, it took a really long time to mark. It took a really long time to mark all of the corners onto each of the bags because I had to do them obviously individually, four on each. And then to cut them out, I can't do that in bulk or I don't have a way to do that in bulk yet. So that's quite time consuming as well. So I'm gonna finish cutting them all out, then I'm going to pin them and then sew them and then I'll be quite happy. <coughs> Bless me. The most exciting thing for me is um, turning them all inside out. So that is quite time consuming, but again, I quite like that because they look like proper bags and you can sort of see what, they're, what they will eventually look like. So yeah, I will get started on that. So it is now around 4 p.m. I just want to show you how much I've done because although I haven't finished all of the bags, I have spent quite a while um, pinning and sewing all of the corners of the bags. So I'm just going to spend the rest of the afternoon, some of the evening, turning the bags the right side around, which, as I said, that's the nice bit for me because I get to see the bags all put together. But let me just show you how much I've actually done because you'll see why it might have taken me quite a while. So sorry that the focus isn't that great. I just wanted to show you how much I've actually done today. So 
doesn't feel like a lot but it definitely has been a lot so I've spent most of it pinning and sewing all the corners so this is what 50 bags look like in production so yes a lot so this is kind of what they look like so the corners the corners are sewn and I've got a little hole at the bottom that I can just turn them turn them right side round so I'll be doing that now so you will have just seen the massive amount of bags that I've done over the last couple of days so when I started this video I had a lot of the um, bags sewn together as in I had tops and bottoms of bags sewn together and I had the drawstring parts sewn as well so I didn't really have a lot um, I needed to sew the tops of all the bags together sew all the bags together on the four sides and cut and sew the corners of the bags as well so I underestimated how long it would take obviously it's going to take longer um, if I manage to take some more footage this afternoon I will definitely add it to the end of this video but I just wanted to say a big thank you for watching this video and um, sticking with me throughout the process. I haven't captured everything just because I don't want the video to be too, too long. Um, but if you are interested in seeing anything else in particular, leave me a comment below and I will be sure to concentrate that on that in the next studio vlog. So if you see anything that you like, um, I will be finishing these bags and uploading them um, soon. I will pop an update either on Instagram or on YouTube once I've uploaded all the bags from this because it will take quite a long time to finish them all and to take pictures, write descriptions and upload them to Etsy as well. Feel free to send me an email on my email which is below. But yes, thank you very much for following this um, studio vlog for this week. If you do need anything else or you wanted to check out my shop, send me an email or um, follow me on Instagram. All the links are below. And apart from that, take care and I will see you next time. All the best. Bye. So just a last update of all of the bags that have been turned inside out. All right side up. So all of these are the linings of the bags and now I just need to sew the hole up at the bottom and the um, tops and then they are done. So a lot.